everyone, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this twist headband. The stitch that I've used for this pattern is the herringbone single crochet stitch. It's so beautiful. This is a quick and easy pattern. You just need one skein of yarn. I've used Wander Acrylic from Furls Crochet and I've used their Streamline Swirl Cafe hook and it is a 5.5 millimeter eye size. And there'll be links in the description box below on where you can purchase these items. And this is a worsted weight yarn. So if you're looking to substitute, it is a worsted weight number four yarn. Before beginning, it's good to do a gauge swatch just to make sure your gauge matches the pattern. So I've done my gauge swatch in a two inch section. So you're looking at about 6.25 rows and about eight stitches. Okay, so your finished adult size is going to be approximately 19 and a half inches by six inches in width. This pattern is worked in herringbone, single crochet. It's a really cool stitch to create, and I'm gonna work through it step-by-step step with you. So to begin, for an adult size headband, we're going to chain out a total of 79. So I'll get you to chain out your 79 stitches, and then I'll meet you up to go over the next step. Okay, so I've chained out 79. Now what you wanna do is turn your work so that you can see the back humps of the chain. That is what we're gonna be working into. So just rotate your chain so you can see these little humps, the back leg of the chain. So we're going to work a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And now what we're gonna do for the herringbone single crochet, we need to work into this leg of the stitch right here. So push your hook through, and then also push your hook through the back hump of the next chain. <clears throat> You'll now have three loops on the hook. Make sure to pull them so that they're all even in height. Yarn over pulling through all three. So now you see that there's three legs here of this stitch. We are going to go through that very first one. And then through the back hump, pulling up a loop, yarn over and pull through three. And making sure to pull that up will really keep that last loop loose so it's easier to work into. Okay, so what you're gonna do is continue in this manner all the way across your chain so that you have a total of 78 stitches. Okay, so I've completed working across And what we'll do is chain one and turn. Okay, so now we're on to the wrong side of our work. So the herringbone single crochet is gonna be on the right side. And so this is the wrong side of our work. So now let's take a look at the stitch. If you turn your work, this is our actual stitch right here. And then here is the third loop popping up. So that loop will continue to pop up onto the wrong side. So we're gonna be working under these two loops and we're gonna be working back to front because we wanna make this pattern. We're ba basically doing the same thing we did on the front, but we're doing it reverse. So we're doing it to the back side. So what you're gonna do, the important things you need to remember is you need to keep this yarn to the front Okay, so you're going underneath it. You don't wanna go around that way. You wanna make sure you're going underneath it that it's staying to the front. So we're gonna go under that stitch, going from the back, pushing through. Now you're gonna grab your yarn, pull it through, and I do a full rotation with my hook. 
to get that around. Then I make sure these loops are both the same height, yarn over and pull through. Okay, now I want you to look this side of your work. I'm just gonna put this down. So there's that first loop coming up that's gonna make this nice herring bone. So this loop right here is the loop we're gonna work into, okay? So you just need to turn your work here, stick your hook down through that loop. So that's the first step. Again, we wanna keep this yarn to the front closest to us. There is the next stitch. So we're going in behind to the front. Okay, now we wanna grab the yarn, pulling it through. And again, like I say, I'm gonna do a full rotation with my hook. So my hook's just gonna slide around I now have three loops on the hook. I'm gonna yarn over, pulling through all three. So let's keep going. So you can see here, we're not working that third loop at all. It's staying popped up. And now if you turn and look at your work, you're, you will see one, two, three loops. So this one here is the one that we're going into. Okay, so you've grabbed it, then you're going under the stitch. So again, we wanna keep this yarn to the front, going under the stitch, grabbing that yarn. Now you have three and then you pull through. I'm going really slow and it may look a bit awkward as you watch me do it, but it does get easier as you go along. You can just kind of feel for that loop. You can just sort of feel to go under that stitch, grab that yarn, let your hook just do a full rotation. Make sure you pull those stitches up. That's really important or that loop will be difficult to work into. Okay. So this is the trickiest part of doing this stitch, but once you get the hang of it. So if you look back here, you're gonna be able to tell if it's working. All of these loops here are going on the diagonal, just like all of these loops here are going on the diagonal. Almost reminds me of a bit of a fishtail braid. So I'm gonna keep going along, showing you a bit more. We're always looking now over to the right side, taking our hook down, pushing it through last loop back to front grab that yarn full rotation with the hook make sure all those loops pull to the same height and yarn over pull through three so you're basically keeping this stitch really nice and loose as you work it it took me actually a little bit to get the hang of this stitch so I hope I've taught it in a way that you understand and that you can get. And it really does speed up after you practice it a little bit. So I'm gonna complete that row and then I'll meet you back up again. Okay, so I've chained one and turned and now we're back to the right side. So we're gonna begin with a single crochet. Then we go through that loop again and just go right in. So if we look at the stitch here, this is the stitch. If you shift it a little bit, if you turn it this way, you're gonna see that third loop. So we're going through the stitch because that third loop is gonna bump out on the wrong side of the work. So we know we want to go through because that's where this fishtail kind of the loops are right here. So when we do this, now we're doing those loops on the other side. So now here's one, two, three, go through that third, go through the stitch. Make sure you pull them all to the same height, yarn over, pulling through three. Again, we're keeping this stitch loose because it just helps us work nice and easily 
into that loop. And the more we work it, the more you're going to really start to see this really cool look. See how it almost looks like they're connected? The herringbone pattern is so pretty. So this, the right side row is really easy. You can whip along it fairly quickly. It's just our wrong side row that's a little more time consuming, a little more fiddly. But just take your time. And the more practice you get, the easier it will become. So what happens here is now we're just going to be repeating row two and three for our pattern. You can make your headband as wide as you want. I'll pop up how many rows that I'm going to do for mine if you like that width, but you can always alter it if you prefer a different width. So I'm going to continue working my rows off camera and then I'll meet you back up to show you how we're going to seam up the headband to create that nice twist look. Okay, so I've been working out my headband and I've worked a total of 19 rows. It's really easy to count them because you just want to look at your stitches that are going on the diagonal. So one, two, three, four, five, etc. So I've done 19 rows, so I'm ending on the right side. I still have this much left over from my ball, so no problems getting one headband out of one ball of Wander yarn. So I've already made two colors, and next I'm gonna show you how we're gonna seam the headband together to get that twist look. So I'm gonna go ahead and fasten this off. Just pull your yarn through. And now what you're gonna do is fold in. So you have your right side facing, you're gonna fold in your sides, take your ends and fold them in half like this. Then you're just gonna smush them together just get them all intertwined here. So now you have four layers. Okay, so you see that? Then what you're gonna do is take your yarn needle, take your long tail, make sure you get all your sides here even. Okay, and then we're just gonna go through sewing them all together. is what your headband's gonna look like. And now to finish it off, you could add a personalized leather tag or faux leather tag to your headband. Okay, push that through and you can get tags that you sew on as well. And I'll have the link in the description box. I purchased my tags through Brick Bubble, and she will custom design a logo for you as well. So there's the finished headband. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and tutorials and tap that bell so that you stay updated when I release a new video. Thanks so much.